Qatar strongly condemns the provocative storming of Al Aqsa Mosque by Israeli settlers. Qatar's exports soar as demand for gas rises amid the Russian and Ukraine war. Stay tuned to find out about how Sununu became the first Qatari startup to expand regionally. And finally, stick around to know about some of the Qatari team winners at the GCC Games in Kuwait. Hi, it's Fatma, and this is the Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar has firmly condemned the provocative raid of Al Aqsa Mosque and attacks against Palestinians by Israeli settlers on Sunday. Doha added that it considers the attacks a blatant breach of international law. It also warned that the continuation of serious violations against the mosque is indicative of the occupation's clear intention to direct the conflict into a religious war. Hundreds of Israeli settlers protected by the Zionist state verbally and physically assaulted Palestinians at the Damascus Gate in Jerusalem as part of their violent flag march. Settlers used the march to celebrate Israel's illegal occupation of Jerusalem in 1967. In business, Qatar's exports increased significantly in April as the globe's top liquefied natural gas exporter benefits from an influx of demand in oil amid the war between Russia and Ukraine. Total exports amounted to 43.5 billion rials compared with 21 billion rials a year ago. As European countries strive to move away from dependence on Russian gas, imports of liquefied natural gas from Qatar is seen as a key solution to the struggle of energy and security. Local startup Sununu has announced its acquisition of popular Armani delivery platform Akid for $10 million. This is its first purchase outside of Qatar. Through Akid's white network of restaurants and grocery stores, Sununu can establish a solid foothold in the Armani market as its initial step in an expansion journey on a regional level. The company's gross merchandise volume has increased drastically since 2021, with it experiencing a six-fold spike between 2020 and 2021. In sports, Qatari athletes claimed two more medals in the third GCC Games in Kuwait, raising the country's overall medal tally to a total of 48. Qatari fencer Ali Aweida prevailed over his Kuwaiti counterpart 15 to 13 in the semifinals, securing the country a silver medal while Aram Hashim bagged the bronze in karate. After the latest two wins, the Gulf country now has a total of 48 medals, including 14 gold, 20 silver, and 14 bronze. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co.